Talk about this piece that you wrote for The New Yorker magazine, the comparison you've made to Gaza and the Warsaw Ghetto. So the piece is fairly wide-ranging. It's, it's a piece in which I traveled through Germany, Poland, and Ukraine, and talk about the politics of memory in each country. But a large part of the piece, uh, and, and how we view the current war in Israel-Palestine through the prism, or fail to view the war through the prism of the Holocaust. Um, a large part of the article is devoted to, in fact, memory politics in Germany and the vast anti-anti-Semitism machine, which largely targets people who are critical of Israel and, in fact, are often Jewish. I think that the way that memory politics function now in Europe and in the United States, but particularly in Germany, is that the cornerstone is that you can't compare the Holocaust to anything. It is a singular event that stands outside of history. My argument is that in order to learn from history, we have to compare. Like, that actually has to be a constant exercise. We are not better people or smarter people or more educated people than the people who lived 90 years ago. The only thing that makes us different from those people is that in their imagination, the Holocaust didn't yet exist, and in ours, it does. We know that it's possible. And the way to prevent it is to be vigilant.